Today's topic is leukemia. Leukemia is a type of cancer that arises in the bone marrow and results in a high number of abnormal white blood cells. Leukemia can also be referred to as the cancer of the white blood cells. The white blood cells are a vital part of the immune system and are mostly produced in the bone marrow, although some types are produced in the lymph nodes, spleen, and thymus gland. The white blood cells are potent infection fighters protecting the body from invasion by bacteria, viruses, fungi, foreign substances, as well as abnormal cells. The white blood cell normally grows and divide in an orderly manner as needed by the body. But in leukemia, abnormal white blood cells are produced from the bone marrow, which doesn't function like normal white blood cells. The abnormal white blood cells also divide too quickly, eventually crowding out normal cells. Leukemia is classified into a variety of large groups based on how fast it progresses, acute or chronic, and the type of cells involved, lymphocytic or myelogenous. In acute leukemia, the abnormal cells are immature and they increase rapidly, making the bone marrow unable to produce healthy cells. The disease worsens quickly and therefore immediate and aggressive treatment is required. These types are the most common form in children. In chronic leukemia, the abnormal cells are mature, but they are abnormal white blood cells. These blood cells build up more slowly and take months or years to progress. These types mostly occur in older people, but can also occur in any age group. Lymphocytic leukemia affects the lymphoid cells that form the lymphatic tissue that makes up the immune system. Myelogenous leukemia affects the myeloid cells. These cells form the red blood cell, white blood cells, and the platelet-producing cells. The specific type of leukemia are acute lymphocytic, acute myelogenous, chronic lymphocytic, and chronic myelogenous leukemia. The most common type in children is the acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. In adults, about 90% of cases of leukemia are diagnosed, with the most common being the acute myelogenous leukemia, or AML, and the chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL. Other rare types exist, such as hairy cell leukemia and others. Leukemia can spread to other parts of the body, such as the lungs, heart, kidneys. Causes. Leukemia happens when some blood cells acquire mutations in their DNA. This causes the blood cells to grow and divide quickly and to continue living when normal cells would die. These abnormal cells continue to accumulate and stop the healthy blood cells from growing and functioning normally, eventually crowding out the normal cells in the blood. Certain risk factors that may increase your risk of getting the condition includes smoking, a family history of leukemia, exposure to certain chemicals such as benzene, genetic disorders such as Down syndrome, previous cancer treatment with chemotherapy or radiation, symptoms, fever or chills, easy bleeding or nosebleeds, night sweats, fatigue and weakness that doesn't go away, bone pain and tenderness, red spots on the skin, bruising easily, unintended weight loss, frequent or severe infections, swollen lymph nodes, especially on the neck and armpits, enlarged liver or spleen. Diagnosis and treatment. The following tests may be performed. A physical exam, where the doctor will look for physical signs such as enlargement of the liver or spleen and swollen lymph nodes. Blood tests to look for abnormal levels of red or white blood cells or platelets. This may indicate leukemia. Bone marrow test, where a sample of the bone marrow is removed and sent to the laboratory to test for leukemia cells. This sample can identify the type of leukemia and its growth rate. Biopsy of other organs, such as the liver and the spleen, can show if cancer has spread. Treatment, the type of leukemia age, your general health, and whether cancer has spread to other parts of the body will determine the treatment option. Treatment options include radiation therapy that uses powerful energy beams such as x-rays to kill the cancer cell, chemotherapy that involves using medication injected intravenously or taken orally to kill the cancer cell, stem cell transplantation where the diseased bone marrow is replaced with healthy ones either from a donor 
as in allologous transplantation, or you may be able to use your own, as in autologous transplantation. Targeted therapies that use medication to target specific pathways or vulnerabilities present in the cancer cell may be effective. Immunotherapy that uses treatments that help the autoimmune system recognize and attack leukemia cells. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.